and this is going to be our dog sled version 101 1.1 this is going to be our dog sled version 1.1. How about zero, zero, 001? No, I'm sorry. Dog sled version 1.0. Okay. Hey, singy boy. We inherited this snow dog right there from some friends. This dog was given to us by some friends. And this dog is extremely energetic. One of the things that drives me crazy about this dog and its previous training has been programmed uh, poorly. And right now it's sitting there eating snow and my son is shoveling snow on the dog. I'm not sure why that's happening. Why is that happening? I don't know. One of the worst things about this dog's behavior is that it it has not uh, been given the chance to enjoy what it was bred for and that is pulling. Our last dog was brilliant at it. You put a harness on her and she would work all day long. This dog won't pull to save her life. So that's something we're gonna work on. We have a couple of things uh, that we need to put together here and this is going to be our... So here's the plan. I'm a big fan of whiteboards, so I'm gonna sketch this out. I purchased uh, two cross-country skis. We picked these up for pennies on the dollar. So remove the bindings off the skis and then repurpose this crate, and it's very small. So here's the plan. We're going to just kind of wing it at first and see just how well she can do pulling. Okay, down and dirty, sled 1.0. I like how wide it is. Look how wide it is. <laughs> it's so fat. Okay, we put some, these are not, it's not too heavy. Go with the rope. There you go, rope. Um, oh, oh, oh. You ready? Easy. Easy peasy. Oh, 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 oh. I'll fix on your butt. Keep laughing. Oh. I'm not in camera anymore. Okay.
Okay, so we're warming up now, but uh, that seemed to work out okay, and the dog pulled better than ever. That was a quick and dirty uh, dog sled build right there, a little DIY action. 